Is gold bullion a good investment? In this video, I'm going to explain what gold bullion is and give you seven reasons why it's a good investment and then a little bonus at the end where I ask, should you buy bars or coins? Let's find out. So first up, what is gold bullion? Well, gold bullion is the term for any investment grade gold product. There is a misperception that the term bullion is only used for gold bars like those you see in James Bond or the Italian job. This is incorrect. The most common forms of gold bullion are gold bars and gold coins. We find that many customers choose to hold both as part of their gold bullion holdings. But why are they choosing to invest in gold at all? Here are my seven top reasons for why it's worth investing in gold. First up, it's a hedge. Gold has historically shown itself to be a hedge against major factors that affect our investment portfolios, including inflation, deflation, macroeconomic, geopolitical, systemic, and monetary risk. And it's a safe haven. Often gold is described as a borderless currency, and this means that it operates outside of the monetary system. Central banks do not control its supply, demand, or its price. And this gives it the unique position of being both a safe haven investment and a safe haven currency. Because of its finite supply and indestructible quality, it has shown itself to hold its value over long periods of time in contrast to many paper and physical assets. And when you own a physical gold bullion, you have no exposure to third party liability. The gold is entirely yours for you to do as you please. Now compare this to other currencies or stocks and shares where the underlying asset is very much beholden to how external parties choose to act. And what about its role as a diversifier? Gold and silver have a historical negative or weak correlation to price movements in the financial markets, especially stock markets such as the New York Stock Exchange. This lends itself well to a balanced portfolio, allowing you, the investor, to take advantage of both short and long term events. And liquidity. The gold market is one of the most liquid markets, which makes it one of the easiest to buy and sell gold on. Its liquidity and global reach mean that there is no requirement on the buyer or seller to predetermine a price before entering the market, as the market sets the price for you according to demand and supply at that moment. Unlike other physical assets, for example, a house, where you could be waiting months. And storage, the beauty of buying physical gold is that there are a number of options when it comes to how it is stored. Some investors may decide they don't want to store their gold at home, and you can access well-established, secure, and regulated intermediaries for long-term storage and insurance of bullion holdings, for example, through your Gold Core account. This gives you more control, but at the same time, access to gold markets should you decide to sell any of your gold bullion. And gold protects against uncertainty. Gold is known to be a safe haven in times of high level economic, political uncertainties in the world. It acts as a hedge against geopolitical and economic upset. We live in an age where uncertainty is rapidly becoming a way of life. In the last two years, we have all been faced with the hard realities that come with a global pandemic, rising cost of living, and the possibility of a third world war. It is imperative that we protect our portfolios against such events, and gold helps you to do this. So with those seven reasons why gold is a good investment, is now a good time to invest in gold. Yes, gaining exposure to gold is easy, but when you're asking, is it worth investing in gold today? It can start to get confusing as to where you begin your investment journey. In an age where anyone is able to open trading accounts or buy digital investment products, there are a wealth of options out there, but they are not all equal nor do they bring the same benefits as one another. If you choose to buy gold mining shares, gold ETFs, or gold derivatives, then you must remember that you are not buying physical allocated gold. The simple fact is that unless you buy bullion, a physical, tangible asset with intrinsic value, then you are just buying an asset that is another entity's or third person's liability. You do not own gold by virtue of owning these products. So what do you go for, coins or bullion? Let's look at both. First up, coins. There is no time like the present to invest in gold coins. They have remained a highly lucrative investment option for thousands of years. They're a long-term store of value that offers you the ability to both diversify your portfolio and safeguard your wealth. And whilst gold bars and gold coins are very similar in terms of what they bring to your investment portfolio, gold coins do have some unique advantages. One in particular is the aesthetic differences between coins each time a new variety is minted. And this is obviously a nice to have aesthetically, but it also means that each coin is instantly recognizable worldwide. And it means that counterfeiters struggle to replicate such gold coins, as each coin often contains unique markers and micrograving within their design. Investors also like gold coins as they offer more flexibility than gold bars might allow. 
Coins by their nature are small units rather than one large unit. So you have more options when it comes to cashing in on your investment. And for investors with smaller capital outlays, coins are a great starting point for your gold bullion investment journey. And don't forget, gold coins aren't just worth their weight in gold. In some cases, some coins may also have numismatic value too. Depending on their age, some coins might have commemorative or collectible value. Now, what about gold bars? Are they worth it? Some people argue that gold bars are an inefficient way to invest in gold. We would argue the opposite. To believe it is inefficient is to be unaware of the vast array of options that are available to investors who wish to buy gold bullion efficiently, securely, and at a low premium. If you have a small initial capital outlay, then coins might be a better starting point, as small bars such as one gram sold by some mints don't represent a great investment as they have massive premiums. However, it is worth buying bigger gold bars. Gold dealers such as Goldcore charge a much lower premium for these than you will see on smaller bars. And you also have great options for storage, specialized insured vaults run by professionals in secure jurisdictions, just as we offer at Goldcore. And this is one of the ideal choices for large gold bars. You also have great options for storage, specialized insured vaults run by professionals in secure jurisdictions, such as those that we offer at Goldcore. But don't worry, if you're looking to own smaller bars or to include coins in your holdings, then secure storage is still available across all of our products. The vaults available to gold core customers are not only extremely secure, but they also make the process of selling gold faster and easier as the gold bars remain within what is called the chain of integrity. This makes buying gold bars a very attractive investment proposition. So if you're sold on gold and want to know more, then why don't you check out one of these videos to help you get started.